Good afternoon everybody, what is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media and today's unboxing and first impressions video, we've got a box from Ethnotech. Now, Ethnotech did send me this package for free, but all of the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. I am not sharing this content with the Ethnotech prior to publication. They will see this when you do. Now, before we crack the box open, why Ethnotech? Um, this was another case of very good targeted advertisement on social media platforms. I um, was continuously seeing their advertisements for their bags on Facebook and Instagram, and I kept seeing them, kept seeing them, kept seeing them. So eventually I reached out to them and asked them, you know, hey, you want to partner up, um, do a review? I keep seeing your bags, but I'm only seeing a, a handful of reviews on them. So uh, do you want to change that? And uh, eventually they got back to me and said, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this thing. So they sent me the bag for free. So I did not pay for this, but Again, all the opinions are mine. I am not sharing any of this content. They're not getting any edits. I'm not being paid to say anything about this bag in either way. Um, all I have seen is uh, the box and from what I've seen online. Now these bags are kind of interesting. We're gonna get a little bit into that now. We'll get a little in depth in the uh, full real user review, but I will talk a little bit about this pack and why I kind of think this is a, a pretty cool mission that they're on. And uh, with that, let's get this box cracked on open. There we have it. The Ethnotech Guatemala. I believe the Guatemala as you may be able to see on that tag there, is the uh, name of this thread. Yes, the Guatemala Raj 30 liter pack. All right, so right off the bat, even the uh, literature seems like it's all thick. Oh, these are postcards, are these postcards? Oh no, this, it's, it's a little bit of information. Now, right off the bat, you can see this nice, oh, that's on there, very, very solid. This nice look here. These are uh, threads. These are interchangeable. Now you can order your Raj with, I think, just about any of the threads that they have. And they range from, I think, $1.99 to about $2.19, depending upon the thread you get. But these threads are all, interchangeable so this should this should completely come off I can completely take this off and put a completely different thread on here and it's it's pretty solid hook and loop so it is hook and loop and then it's also secured via these compression straps on the side that are dual purpose because they are actually compression straps as well, so you can use them to shrink down the bag. And it does look like it pops into this little sleeve at the bottom, so okay, so the bottom of the thread has this little bit um, stiffer. There's like a, some some stiffness here. I don't, I don't know if it's like a sheet of plastic or something in there, but that's kind of just like a tail. I think that's also helping to hold it on. And then you have, again, your compression straps. And you can buy the threads separately as well. So if you wanna adjust the look of your bag, you can buy these threads and they come from, I think about $35 up to about $59, depending upon the thread. And you could get a simple plain black one that actually has a flap pocket as opposed to the uh, all these different embroideries that you can get. And all of these threads are made all over the world. They source them out from all different areas from South America to Asia to Africa. And it seems like they're always looking for more artisans because these are all artisans made. These are all looms. So these are all actually woven on a loom. Um, and they're all created individually by uh, different artisan uh, groups, individual artisans, or even uh, artisan villages. It's pretty cool. Uh, the backstory again, we'll get more into that in the full review, but that was one of the reasons that drew me into it in the way this, this cool bag, the way it looks. And uh, I told them to pick whatever color they wanted to send me. Um, I was open to just about anything, so they picked the Guatemala to start. Okay, so as you can see, it is a, a roll top since we, we rolled it open. So it's a 30 liter roll top, and we have one pocket here that is, 
Okay, so you can see it does come back over under this side of the zipper, so it does open this way, but you have between your lashing points that you actually have, it's sewn in the middle, both sides, there's bar tacking there, so you actually have two loops, and that is the, the uh, length of your pocket here, so it goes from between each of these and the whole width of it, so that's kinda nice. And again, if you go with the solid black one, I believe there's an extra pouch here as opposed to a zipper pocket. And then we have, on one side, we have, uh, I guess this would be a water bottle pocket or it could be a water bottle pocket. There's no real stretch to it. Um, but I think this is the admin pocket here. Yes, this is the admin pocket. Oh, and that's cool. There's even a little bit more um, flare, if you will, on the inside and it's, it's soft like a fleece in here as well. And you have a smaller elastic band. Oh, no, that's not elastic banded, um, but mesh pocket that is elastic. The banding is not elastic, so that'll kind of hold things in, but that's nice. It's a nice little extra touch. And this is pretty soft to go with the fleece, so this would be where you put your tech. Like I can throw my cell phone in here, and because I have these I always buy these silicone cases that don't slide. The phone fits in there fine, but it's my silicone case that doesn't allow it to really slide. Um, but yeah, you can put any of your tech in here, your admin pocket here. And I believe there is also an extra pocket here. Is this internal access? Or is this? Oh no, this is your laptop sleeve. Okay, so let's pop that off. So this I believe is your laptop sleeve. Yes, so this is your padded laptop sleeve, and I believe this fits up to a 15 inch, most 15 inch laptops. Um, I could definitely probably fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro in here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit, um, I definitely won't be able to fill, fit my Dell in here. Now the inside here, it's hard to see, but there's this extra something here. There's this extra removable piece of foam, and that's probably, because this is not floating. It was on the side, so I'm guessing that was there to rest your laptop on. Okay, so it's not, it tapers slightly. You can kind of see here, it kind of tapers at the bottom. So this doesn't quite fit all the way at the bottom. So I guess your computer would just rest on here. Um, what I would probably want to do though is just take this off and cram it Velcro side down all the way on the bottom and make it in there. Just kind of cram it in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that right now so I don't forget. And I'm just gonna work it in there. So what I just did was I just took this piece and I just worked it all the way on the bottom. So I just kind of created a, uh, a padded bottom. This was stuck to the side here. It was stuck to like the, I guess would face the back panel of the bag, the inside of the bag, and I just took it and stuck it across the bottom. I think it was meant to be like a shelf, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick it down there. I think that's gonna be a little bit more efficient and a better use of the, uh, the padded block. And we also have dual zippers, so I can go up or down with it. If I can find it, I just saw it. There, so I can actually have the zippers go either way. Uh, I don't know if they might kind of dig into your back if they're up here, so down here, they're a little bit more, they're definitely not gonna dig into your back because they're down off to the side and tucked over behind to the side of the strap. So that's probably not gonna get in the way um, for you over there, but uh, we'll see, we'll play around with that. On the other side, let me slack this off a little bit because it's definitely compressed. And we do have some, some strap management here so we can definitely have these, uh, get rid of some of these tails. We don't have to have the big long tail. Uh, we'll play around with that. But we do have a, an expandable, there's a gusset here. And um, this one is elastic. This is a plastic banding for your water bottle pocket. It's a mesh, a, mm, yeah, but it's the same like stretch mesh. It doesn't have a ton of give to it, but it definitely has some give and it's gusseted. So you could probably fit a fairly decent sized water bottle in there. And I believe this, one yes this gives you and you already have that uh that nice design again but this gives you internal access so you have some and um internal access that you don't have to go through the roll top for. 
so you can get internal access here. So that's kind of nice. And just looking in, we're obviously we're gray. I can see the gray interior in there. So there's at least one, one organization pocket in there, but we're gonna look a little bit more through the roll top and see what we have. So that gives us, oh, there's a tag here that says proudly and responsibly made in Vietnam. We have two buttons on either side to help secure the lid. And it also has some sort of stay in here, like probably just a plastic stay. That'll probably give you a little bit more rigidity when you're going to do the roll top, having that plastic stay across the top there. And it might actually help too when you're clipping these buttons in. If we look down into the bag, it's a little dark and hard to see. Let's try this, we'll crank the exposure and tilt it towards the lights. So you can kind of see there is one on the back side of the back, this is the front. On the back side, there is a tablet sleeve. Okay, so it doesn't roll down too far, but I can see we do have a tablet sleeve across the back, in addition to one zipper pocket. Now this is also a mesh, but it is a different mesh. It's not super deep. It's probably only about four inches in depth. It's about to here on my hand from my fingertips to my hands. So it's probably about four, four and a half inches in depth. Um, it is a mesh, but it is a different, it's not the stretchy mesh that we have in the admin pocket or on the water bottle sleeve. Um, it does have a tiny bit of give to it, but not much. Um, it does feel like it has a little bit of space, a little bit of room to grow in there, but that's probably going to be a quick drop pocket for a few small items. There's not a lot going on on the inside of the pack, and uh, most of what you have going on is actually on the outside, and it's pretty easily accessible from the outside of the pack. And since we've been talking a lot about roll tops, you can see this fits into the tubular version where it is just a straight tube up and down. We don't have the flare and we don't have the taper in, which is my least favorite is the taper in. So we can pretty easily open this and see down into it. And I can definitely see into this better than you can with the camera. Um, it still is kind of dark in there, but I can definitely see in there a little bit better than what's coming through on the camera. And it seems like the snaps Come together pretty nicely, rolls down, and then we also have our compression so we can actually you know, expand this if we need to utilize more of the bag or roll it down and get some good compression. And this compression strap here is actually, at least the male end, is part of the thread that's on the front of the bag. So when you get a new thread, you'll actually be getting a whole new um, male buckle a female buckle is attached to the bag behind the um the grab handle uh, kind of between the grab handle and that's one thing i'm noticing here too is the grab handle has a uh, something in there it feels like a, a piece of piece of like rubber of some sort it's, it's not hollow um i don't know what that is maybe i can find out but it definitely feels it has a little bit of squish to it i don't think it's foam because it's pretty dense it only has a little bit of squish and it has a pretty solid form to it so I, I, honestly i think that's a piece of rubber in there maybe because they're uh trying to do ethical sourcing maybe this is like some recycled rubber so instead of going to a landfill i'm i'm not 100 percent sure so don't quote me on that that's just kind of what i'm guessing offhand um it feels okay I prefer personally just a flat or a folded piece of webbing as opposed to being something that's stuffed in there. I like maybe a little piece of foam in there or just a folded sewn over piece of webbing. That's my preferred favorite grab. Um, it does look like it's gonna be rigid enough that it's kind of sticking up on its own so you can easily grab it and get your hand in there. And let's see, when you have the top rolled down, how accessible is it? Yeah, I mean, it's still it's still pretty easily accessible even with the top rolled down. So the big sell for me on the Ethnotech was this thread. I really like the story with the fact that A, it's interchangeable. So if you get tired of this design, you don't have to buy a whole new pack. So you don't have to go spend another 200, $220 on a new pack. You can actually spend 35 to 
60-ish dollars and get a whole new look for your bag. And the fact that they're using artisans from small villages all over the world is pretty awesome. The ethos kind of reminded me of like what Cotopaxi does, how they do the Daldea collection, where they're kind of all individual, um, where you're gonna get these artisans are gonna make their own art craft and you can display this on your back, take this all over the world. Now overall, the quality of the bag, I believe this is all a ballistic nylon build. Um, I did see the spec on the site and now I forget what it is offhand. Um, it is a ballistic. I'm 95% I'm sure it is a ballistic. Um, I don't remember the weight of it, but all of the materials, it feels pretty solid. The shoulder straps, um, they're not super, super dense. They do have some good bend to them, but it does feel like there's a fair amount of give in there. They're not super, super thick. Um, but the whole pack itself is pretty lightweight and it's pretty flexible. And you saw it came in that box, it was folded over. And one thing I liked is like when I popped it out, you can see it does have a little bit of a natural bend to it just from being in that box and shipping, but it laid pretty flat. Um, really, it's just the literature has the bend in it. So I hate when, uh, when a bag, even without a frame sheet, gets stuck in a box and they cram it in to get a smaller box to pay less in shipping, which, you know, I mean, I see on the company's end, they wanna save as much money as they can in shipping because those costs are crazy high. But when they cram a bag in a box and then the bag always has like almost a permanent bend in it, I hate that, I absolutely hate that. But this, I mean, it's only been out of the box now for a couple of minutes and it has only a slight bend to it. And if I look at the clock, we're coming up on just under 20 minutes of filming and that's with all of me screwing up and starting over and changing cameras. So, um, yeah, so we'll say the bag's been out of the box for about 20 minutes and it's it's only got that little tiny arc in it. So it came pretty flattened out, which I like. I, again, I hate it when a company packs a bag in a tiny box and then it has this almost permanent bend to it. So once this thing has time to breathe, I think we're gonna be golden and um, we want to flip this over to the back. Oh, and underside of the straps and the back panel, it's all an air mesh material. Now the back, it is a little bit denser foam. You can kind of see if you can get a, yeah, you can kind of see the thickness of it right here. Um, it's not super, super thick, but it feels pretty good. Um, I think it's gonna be fairly comfortable. I really do like the Guatemala look. It's really a nice looking bag. And again, I like that if I wanna change this, if you wanted something plain, you can get the black one. I believe the plain black with the, the bigger pocket is actually the cheapest one. It's That's the cheapest thread to buy um, separate. And I believe that's the only pack that was like 199. I think all the rest were like 209 to 219. So if you wanted even just the plain one, the plain one, has the larger pocket, probably gives you the more most space, and is also the cheapest version to get. But I like this Guadabal and it looks really, really nice. There are a couple of the other threads that I also really liked. I've been kind of looking at them because I knew I knew this was coming, so I've been looking at the threads for the past couple days. And uh, I really like it. I really, really, really like, I really like that this is completely interchangeable. I was worried that it was gonna be super easy to come off and this was gonna be floppy and everything, but the Velcro that they use, it's pretty good stuff. Like I'm giving it a fairly, yeah, I'm giving it a fairly decent yank and like it's just starting to come up, come apart. So I can easily take it apart if I need to, but it's also staying, it's pretty durable stuff. It's not like crazy go ruck industrial strength Velcro that takes like, you know, 100 pounds of force to separate it, but it's it's pretty good stuff. And then it's also secured on there with your um, your compression strap. So even if for some reason it does fall off, you're it's not you're not going to lose it. So if you had anything in this pocket, you're not going to completely lose it. And it's also tucked under the roll top and contact, con connected with four additional compression straps. So all in all, I'm uh, I'm grooving on this pack, and uh, I can't wait to get this into rotation. I feel like this might be like a nice summertime bag. It's kind of light, um, it's got some good flex in it. Um, I might even try this as a dad bag in addition to like an EDC. Um, so we're gonna see, we're gonna put this into the queue. We're gonna end up giving this a full test uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna put it through its paces in a few different scenarios. So stay tuned for the full real user review of the Ethnotech Raj 30 liter pack with the Guatemalan thread. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night.